We all love Wonder Woman and we know she's in comics. But besides the comics, she's also been in live action. The most recent live action being her at Gal Gadot, the classic live action one back in the day. Oddly enough, even to be honest, this Wonder Woman technically actually appeared in comics, so that's pretty cool too. That's satisfying, isn't it? Like, I know a lot of people are going to try to say this isn't canon, but yeah, they're using her same face and they, uh, outfit looking kind of similar, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to add those feats to this video, why not, right? Linda Carter, Wonder Woman, comic book feats, you know? I mean, look how they have her looking in the comments. Don't this look like Linda Carter? Like, this is classic Wonder Woman standard gear bulletproof bracelets that she uses to block bullets and stuff with. It's like her ultimate defense, similar to comic lore. She has this in live action as well. She also has the Lasso of Truth rope she can use. This is her other standard gear other than her bracelets. It's confirmed that this lasso she uses... Your golden lasso. Beside being made of an indestructible material, it also carries with it the power to compel people to tell the truth. This Wonder Woman will even use the lasso on herself so she can see the truth, so she can see that what she was fighting wasn't real. Her tiara on her head she uses as a weapon too. More gear she uses... One could say this weapon is like her long range crap, like knocking guns out of hands, knocking over a man, or simply deflate a boat. And it seems to always come back to her, like on some breaking laws of physics type stuff. Comic book version, her throwing the tiara and knocking guns out of hands, it's a common theme. And in this universe it's implied, especially in the comic book version of her, she has her invisible jet. Like, usually when you're this strong, you don't really need sword skills or fighting skills in general, because if you're a million times stronger than somebody, why the heck do you need fighting skills? Your power or just raw strength would just overpower them anyway. In the comics, it's implied this version of Wonder Woman can fly. She's insanely nerfed compared to her comic counterpart, even though she has comics too, but I'm talking about like the original comic counterpart, because her source of strength is her magic belt. If you remove it, she actually gets weakened. It's stated. Remove my magic belt. Is that the key to your strength? Yes. In the show, it seems like she has this weird ability to just spin around and, and kind of just magically changes her clothes. It even kind of works making random outfits, like a biker one, a skater one, <laughs> where she just spins and changes clothes. And she also has fighting speed to deflate bullets, but let's analyze her strength, shall we? It's obvious she has super strength. She's consistently been in barrels of guns. It's a common theme at this point to show off her brute power. Who do you think hates guns worse, her or Batman? Breaks gun here in comic version. I hope these guns didn't cost a lot. Even longer or thicker guns, it doesn't seem to matter. She can bend sniper barrels or just bending still, no mortal man should be able to do. But yet she still can do these kind of things anyway. Ha, <laughs> you thought you was gonna do something with that shotgun. Nope. You can tell she's strong because she can just catch weights like this and use it as like a power pole basically to deflect stuff with. Even if the metal's connected to concrete and stuff, she can just pull the metal along with the concrete because of her super strength. You can see she can force this door open and break these cuffs. When we're talking about her lifting a lot of weight, notice how she does this type of stuff. It doesn't seem to be no issue because when she slings it, it goes a decent distance. The easiest way to show somebody has super strength is them moving vehicles or cars. And we've seen Wonder Woman do this. You can kind of get an idea of her strength by how her legs work, jumping up multiple stories of a building. She's like a darn gymnast, basically. She's super humanly acrobatic. She can already jump real high like this and then do some somersaults like, yo, you know how basketball players be jumping over cars for a dunk contest? She can do that with ease and jump over all this. Stops this car. You see this vehicle right here? She can lift up with her strength. Car and a truck at the same time. She can stop them from moving with her grip. Lift this vehicle here. The stuff she does is effortless when it comes to vehicles. They be trying to drive and they can't move. And she just be smiling because they can't move. Like it's a joke. Beefy boulders like this seem to be a little bit of effort to move. But she can still. You can ram into her. She can stop the vehicle on the spot. Make the tires spin and everything. Yeah, there was this helicopter. It's a combination of her lasso and her strength. She got a grip of the helicopter and was strong enough to pull against it and actually drag the helicopter down with super strength. These thick pillars, she can stop from falling. She's strong enough to lift all of this mess up, this crane, and topple it over and break locks with ease. You got a cases like this where all this is about to fall. She moves it back and fixes it with her strength, bending metal casually. You can kind of get an idea of her strength here. With this big creature, for example, one can say she kind of calmed him down, you know? You can't restrain her. These little mechanisms that be trying to crush beings, like you see it, this is the type of stuff that's not going to necessarily work against her because of her power. Even if it's thick steel like this, she can use her raw power to bend the stuff. She's strong enough to move big vehicles like this around. 
She's strong enough to actually stop a bus from driving off with her raw strength to where the tire's spinning. She still can stop it with her strength. A tank, she stopped from moving with her strength. Something that has to be at least 40 or 50 plus tons, one could say. The million dollar question is, could she actually lift it or hold it above her head with her super strength though? Do you think she had the raw strength or power to lift 60 plus tons? So with all this super strength, have you ever wondered how hard can she punch thanks to all this super strength? I want you guys to remember that her hands can move at superhuman speeds thanks to her super speed too. This could help out with how hard she can hit along with her strength too. Because in her show, there's too many occasions of her hands and arms being able to deflect bullets with her fighting speed. Even in the comic version, you see her deflecting stuff. Yes, yeah, always deflecting even in the comics. When it comes to her fighting speed, bullets are just considered slow at this point. And not just from pistols, but from guns that have automatic fire she still can deflect it with her fighting speed so basically if you see her in front of you, you might as well not even try to shoot she's just too freaking fast when it comes to how fast her hands can move with her bracelets blocking it for her sniper bullets are apparently faster that doesn't matter either look how close this guy is trying to shoot her and she's still deflecting it it's just not wise to try to shoot her it's good that her speed is good but the combination of her bracelets helps too when it comes to her combat speed she's fast enough to catch rockets out of the air guys even when they launch missiles at her or rockets, she's fast enough to catch them and throw them back. Yeah, even if you try to shoot at her with a tank, nope, she would catch it with her fighting speed. Even when she's surrounded like this, her fighting speed can deflect all this mess. So I think it's confirmed she has all this super strength, but she can also move her hands ridiculously fast on top of it. And when you talk about her limits when it comes to her fighting speed, she's fast enough to block lasers to where even when multiple people try to do it, she still blocks them all. Does this mean her hands can move at close to light speed? I mean, somebody this powerful with this kind of punching speed kind of makes sense on why we see her punch or kick down doors with ease. This globe, or one could say disco ball she punches, messes stuff up like this. I mean, normal human males, of course, y'all ain't nothing compared to her strength. Look what her punch can do here. Punch through brick walls. That's like a common theme. When we're talking about her punching power. Here, for example, she not only stops these walls from caving in, but just actually drills her hand through it. One can say striking power. If anything else, we know she can punch through brick walls, which is still superhuman. You try doing that with your brute fist with no extra padding or having the strength to knock a brick wall down with her power. All this stuff is believable, right? But if you're one of those people that believe that she could possibly hit as hard as she can lift, one can say, in theory, she might be able to lift up a tank. Like I showed this already in the video when she stopped the tank, we didn't necessarily see her lift it up, but if you assume she could, that could also we could also theorize she can hit with 60 plus tons of force if we assume she could actually lift this above her head and not just stop it. That would pretty much mean she can tremble entire houses or buildings if that's the case, or even punch hard enough to knock them down if we're being honest. In these comics or this version of her, Linda Carter has her ver own version of Cheetah. She's had to face off against ended up breaking this cheetah thing and turned back to normal beat her that way there was this super smart being in his universe that was creating the most powerful laser beam on the planet earth powered by nuclear energy he was planning to use this laser to turn the entire planet into a volcano he says based on the energy this laser can produce this guy was pretty much threatening all the major powers of the world for peace or whatever this is an ultimatum he said if the powers of the world or different countries don't listen he'll use this laser beam to carry out his threat the threat of making the entire world into a volcano is implying a planet-wide threat. This guy was such a threat that people was debating on attacking him with nuclear weapons, implying that this laser beam had to be at least on the one could say on the level of nuclear if they felt like they had to retaliate with nuclear bombs and stuff. Even Wonder Woman said this was going to be a third world disaster. Even if you don't want to believe it to be a planetary weapon, it is confirmed to be the deadliest and most dangerous weapon the world has ever known during the time of this show was made. He turned the laser on. They said the world goes in 10 minutes. The world, apparently. You're probably wondering what does all this have to do with Wonder Woman? Just hold a second with me. I'm about to get there. She was asking where the nuclear power plant was here. It, there's implications that the beam lasts for 50 seconds. So you telling me there's a weapon powerful enough to make the entire world to a volcano in 50 seconds? And this blast was apparently so crazy that the hostages that was here, they was asking, oh, should we let the hostages go? They would said, should we let them go? And he responded, go where? Like, nowhere is safe, like implying planetary devastation, literally. One woman literally stands in front of the beam and has her body withstand the blast. I know these are old school special effects. It doesn't look that destructive, but apparently this was going to affect the entire world. Put herself between the beam and the outside world. 
with standing this kind of blast that would apparently cause planetary devastation then breaks up the machine. Stuff like this not only implies that her body can withstand things that are comparable to nuclear bombs or things that can level cities, but it's implied that these this laser was stronger than any weapon ever created, a weapon of mass destruction. So one could say she not only survived a blast that would have wiped out cities or whatever, but there's implications she would have survived something that would have caused the worldwide destruction, making the whole world into a volcano. And when you look at what this device has shown to do in this episode, it seems like he might not have been bluffing or exaggerating about its power. Considering we've seen it do stuff like this in the beginning of the episode, this big cannon making his own earthquakes too. When you Google magnitudes of earthquakes, any earthquake above an eight can destroy communities near the epicenter. They talk about it here, 8.4 on the richer scale. So it's implied that what he was saying wasn't a bluff. It was able to cause crazy collateral earthquakes, creating his own volcanoes, it shows. This was merely a demonstration, he says, implying this is not beam at its full power, apparently. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Do you think she can take something that could have devastated the entire planet, apparently? Do you think this kind of power also applies to her punches, too? Hard to say since she lacks screen time. You know, what do you think? I wouldn't doubt it, but knowing this show's budget, it's hard to say whether they would even have a budget to pull off something like that on screen, though. But at the end of the day, everybody, all of this could be just me. I could be tripping. How strong do you think she is? Do you think her body really can withstand something that can make the entire world into a volcano based on that laser? beam weapon she stood in front of and it didn't affect her what do you think but before i get going gotta give a quick thanks to the donators helps out a lot respect wonder woman i'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other how strong videos if you like what this channel is offering make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys later